pleasure to meet y'all at last. And I've come back with some more of why is that. You can ask me any questions you want, though. But it has to start with the words, why is that? That's the bottom line here. For today's question, we got ourselves another Twitter user who submitted his question in the form of why is that? Whereas with others, they just went on with other variants of the interrogative collage of words. The question he asked me was, why is that you still play with Nerf Blasters and Hot Wheels? despite your age. Well, that's pretty much easy because it actually started pretty long periods of time ago. Although Hot Wheels seem to be much, much, much older interest in contrast to Nerf. Nerf started around early 2007, whereas Hot Wheels time for me started at least around 2000, and maybe even before then. It all started with this one Hot Wheels car over here, Turbolence, which was a 1999 model, if you could tell already by the copyright date. And if you have a Turbolence model from Mattel, then you can see for yourself that the copyright date below it will say 1999. So it'll have to be a 1999 or even a 2000 model if it was re-released in those times. Anyhow, I already made an episode about it. I already made an episode about Hot Wheels and how I came to collect so many of them throughout 2018. And I'll put a link to that episode in the description box below. But let's just skip on to Nerf. Because Nerf started around early 2007 when I bought four Nerf Blasters at the same time. And eventually, onwards to 2008 and onwards, we've had ourselves going through birthdays and Christmases and even times of which I made my own money and bought some for myself. I have at least 90 of them. 53 of them. 59 of them. Now that is a pretty outstanding number of Nerf Blasters that I own. But nonetheless, there was also a video that was dedicated to <coughs> live action Nerf shootouts starring special effects. Featuring some pretty intricate and sophisticated special effects, including sound, visual, including audio and visual effects. And I'll also put a link to that video in the description box below. That's two links you'll get for the price of one. Which is free. You don't necessarily have to pay me right now. Now we're just gonna keep moving on because I'm still not quite finished here with why Nerf became a real big sentimental part of me. Up until the point at which I created my ultimate live action nerf shootout video. Why it became such a big importance to me is because there's so many collectors out there collecting one specific thing. I thought to myself that collecting one specific thing in another way would have proved me to a point of which that I could have gone so far to collect almost everything in existence with that particular product that I practically would have just bankrupted myself at this point. But luckily I managed to stop myself by the end of last year from going too far and purchasing every other Nerf Blaster in existence. Because just like what happened with Hot Wheels, I mean, I was collecting them like crazy. Hundreds and hundreds of models I was picking up every month of this year. Whereas with Nerf Blasters, I have not necessarily bought another Nerf Blaster since last summer. And the reason made be is because compared to Hot Wheels, Nerf Blasters are much more expensive. They're at least five times the price. Hot Wheels in stores are usually 97 cents a piece with $4.97 $4 for a five pack. 
Whereas if you bought a Nerf Blaster, chances are they'll be at, at minimum $8 a piece. That would be the equivalent of buying eight Hot Wheels cars with plenty of cents still remaining. At least a couple dimes. Now though, I know for sure that it's it's quite possible that Hot Wheels will still be something I'll collect from this point forward, whereas with Nerf Blasters, there could be the likelihood that I'll end up getting rid of all of them. However though, if you have not already seen the live action Nerf Shootout video, which the link is still in the box below, if you're wanting to go see it right now, there will be a great likelihood that I'll keep Nerf Blasters from 2016 to the present. Now, that wasn't exactly a spoiler alert because this episode of Why Is That came sometime after the ultimate live action Nerf shootout video. The publication date will be displayed right down there for everybody to see. So this way, I know for sure that what I'm doing around here. For now though, Nerf Blasters are pretty much not a thing for me to collect anymore. And Hot Wheels cars have been. Fact is, with Nerf Secrets Revealed though, if you haven't already seen that series, I mean, I am about to have the very last episode of this season uploaded. Season 5 happened to be really breathtaking. 47 episodes we've got, with the 47th one still awaiting to upload to my channel. And I know for sure that with more than 155 episodes of Nerf Secrets Revealed, I sure know as heck how to really put things forward to creating an original piece of content for my channel for everybody to see. But the main point of creating pieces of content was the fact that I have mostly decided to keep on producing television shows, even after I had myself quite a bit of a runoff with, with some other ones that I tried to produce, including a real reality television. Reality television is, after all, going to be something that I am going to go for as soon as I graduate college. Being a director or a producer, more likely producer. Nerf Blasters aren't entirely going to be something that is going to stay with me forever. How will though? It's probably going to be a lot longer than I thought. It'll stay with me for quite a long time right now. I keep them in great condition, I keep them in a pretty stable environment. But here's the main part of the question. Why is that I still why is that I still play with Nerf Blasters? Now this is where it gets really cheesy around here. I started buying Nerf Blasters like crazy with my money or with anybody else's money that I earned. And that was because it was just something I really delved into when I have admitted to myself that I was quite an addict at least 17 times in the last 10 years. As soon as my Nerf Blaster count reached a certain limit, then that was where I had to admit I was an addict, otherwise there would have been some serious issue following with the fact that I was draining my savings just to binge on my Nerf Blaster obsession. Nowadays though, it's a Hot Wheels color obsession. But Nerf Blasters are more likely part of the subject for this episode, so let's just keep on going to it. There's another point that comes into why Nerf Blasters have become a really big deal for me. If I were to keep going back into stores, and then there would be some blasters that were missing, which the last time I saw them there, 
That was because they would no longer be available on shelves. And according to the Nerf Wiki page, of which I'll put a link to that website as well, in the description box below, then you'll see for yourself the shelf status would be considered available or unavailable. Those would be two words that would really seem to change my way of collecting Nerf blasters in stores, and instead moving on to Amazon or eBay. But now, I'm almost practically over my Nerf Blaster collection, and I am about ready to sell tons of them. Whereas with the ones I'm keeping from 2016 to today, it's clear by now that, well, I had to preserve my collection somehow. But there's even a much, 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 much bigger point as to why Nerf Blasters were something for me to collect pretty well. There was also the fact that, unlike what the shelf status would have shown me, there was also the fact that the rarity of the Nerf Blasters, which the End Strike series is pretty darn rare nowadays, especially when you consider the Nerf Vulcan to be super expensive. More than $200 it has priced itself on Amazon, countless times in the last seven to ten years even on average at least two hundred dollars there's no acceptance to that normally well, I wasn't necessarily in the stores at the time the Vulcan was around because I was in well, I was in school for most of the time during 2007, 2009, 2010, 2012 those years really it really got big by the end of 2013. My collection, that is. I was starting to buy Nerf Blasters like crazy from 2013 to 2015 and 2016 even. 2017, I only bought, at most, five more Blasters left. Including the Glow Shot, including a White Triad, which I, give, I gave a new name to. It. There's probably a Nerf Secrets Revealed episode I have from way back in the day that shows me renaming blasters with names that have been taken by their older adversaries. But anyhow though, it's the rarity of the Nerf Blaster, it's the shelf status of the Nerf Blasters in stores, but here's a third reason as to why Nerf had become a big deal for me back then up until last year. It was unbelievable to find out how well Nerf Blasters demonstrated the laws of physics. Firing a Nerf dart with a firing mechanism that includes a strong spring, as well as some other components in there, you're giving yourself a pretty big science experiment when it comes to testing a Nerf Blaster. Firing a Nerf Blaster in any way in the house or even outside it just proves how well the laws of physics handle, even on just one single little bit of foam like this, with a rubber tip, which would be a Nerf dart. And there you have it, really, because, well, I suppose nowadays, though, due to the fact that I've decided not to collect any more Nerf blasters at the moment until I get myself some more money, it's unclear if my Nerf Blaster collection is still going to be preserved in some way in spite of my promise as to whether I'll keep my blasters from 2016 to today unless of course I also decide to get rid of them as well because I really want to amp up my savings and selling stuff I no longer use would definitely be a really big cut for me to take. I'm going to take that cut and really take advantage of that in any way possible. For now though, Hot Wheels collecting has been a really big deal for me for right now, and I don't see any real reason for it to just not stop there. Alright, so here we are now. This is a really big point right now, and I've confirmed the fact that Nerf really won't be 
much of a big deal for me anymore as it used to be from 2007 to 2017. But if you want to see more, go down with why is that, you want to see me answer more questions, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.